Hey guys, welcome to FT STEM. This is Jake Marshall, and today we're going to be talking about the teacher hanger. Now, the teacher hanger is a lot more in depth than the student. Enrolling is very much the same. So, if you go to teacher under enroll, you'll notice that you're going to have a 30 day free trial so you can check it out, see all the resources, see the lessons, and maybe execute a few lessons to see how it works. And then, if you decide to go with it, it's $99 per year and it's free to students. So, you can attach as many students every year to your account. Um, as long as you keep your account active. Filling out is the same way, you can pick up where your school is, once you fill it all out, agree in terms of conditions, and go ahead and create your account. Now here we are at my dashboard, uh, you can see your account information on there, as well as seeing how many current students are enrolled in your class, and I got 32. And underneath the My Account tab, you, you can go in there and change your name, um, and change your preferences to um, uh, accommodate what you want to put forth. The first one is going to be students. Now students, this is excellent to manage your classroom. You've got um, all your students that you have assigned to your class and if you notice that a lot of mine are Mesa RC 16, 17 for the school year. You'll see some have already got design briefs going. And you can also um, organize and administer your classes. Now in this case I need to create a new one. Next week I got my high school are starting up, so I'm going to start one called Elite. And we'll put down 16 and 17 year. And now I'll be able to start to add classes to my Elite section. Lessons is another great tool, and you don't have to use them, but they're there for you. There's 71 of them in there, um, all spread out throughout amongst the four grade levels. And you can see that they're all um, organized in specific ways. So if you want, you can pick, pick uh, middle school. And everything in middle school is aligned with the curriculum overviews. So if you go to your header and go curriculum and look up your curriculum, you can actually see it all work out. If you click view, every single lesson is going to have pictures of the resources that you need for it, the materials that you need for it. It gives you activities, suggested activities on how to execute and implement it in your classroom. And then at the end, you also have attachments that are associated with that lesson. So doc files, PDF files, CAD files. Another cool thing too is you can print them off or you can share a link. Um, you can actually send them to another fellow teacher to execute and to try out. And you can create your own and it'll function just like this. And so you can actually share them not only with someone else, but you can actually share them with your students. So if you create a specific lesson for your students, you can then, I can assign a lesson to a whole class or a selected number of students uh, to execute during a, a day, a day's lesson within the curriculum. Now creating a lesson, I'm not going to get too much into. This is going to be another video in itself because um, it's going to need a little bit more time. So we'll go back to that one later. Grading, we have the ability to view ungraded and graded um, design briefs. And right now we don't have any. Woohoo! I'm excited. But I will after here in a, a couple months or a couple weeks, and we're going to start having them roll in. Resources are going to be just like the students. The only difference is that you're going to have more FT articles and more docs that are going to be associated with you. So as you can see here, I have everything um, that goes out to students and for me as a teacher. The docs are all right there, and CAD Vault that's coming soon. Now another cool feature is share out. Share out is really cool. You can actually go in and create an article very much like flighttest.com. And in this case, I did a couple of them. One of them was the FT Baby Blender that was done by a seventh grader last year. And that's a that's a hard build, and he, he did an amazing job, and now he's on to something uh, even cooler. And uh, he's actually taking what he learned from the Baby Blender, and he's making a whole new plane. It's, it's pretty awesome. But once you share it, it actually goes into exemplars for all to see and to share out the, some uh, curriculum shares. It's, it's a cool way of bringing the community together. Now creating an article, I'm not gonna get too much into it. It's another lesson in itself and uh, we'll keep on moving, moving forward. Now the STEM store at um, Flight Test has everything you need and it's growing. Every day, every week it's growing with more uh, consumables and dumb content related materials that you can uh, purchase. Messages. Messages are the same as students. You can write a message to a kid. You can receive a message um, from your uh, students and uh, it's an easy way for you guys to communicate and to stay on top of it. This concludes the teacher's hangout. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's so much involved with this uh, teacher hanger. And I uh, hope that you sign up and, and can execute it and share what you've done with your students um, this year. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, I'll catch you next time.